Yo Internet, I am Calvin, and this is Space Engineers, the latest update video, 1.039. And um, in this uh, update, they've added something I didn't really know was going to be added at all. Um, is It's batteries. So it's these little, these giant, or these, yeah, these little, these giant little thingies, you know what I'm saying? Little uh, Duracell things. Um, these batteries are basically, they can hold, they can store power for, they're just, yeah, they're basically, they're just, you know, if you know what a battery is, you know what this is. Excuse me. It's, um, I'll just kind of explain it in context here. So, um, these solar panels, they will, you know, normally we'd have, like, we wouldn't have any way to store power besides, you know, like, a reactor. Like, there's no way to actually, like, just save power for later, like, have some kind of reserve. But now there is. So, the solar panels here, all the power that gets collected from them would go directly into these two batteries. But right now, they're not, because these batteries, I'll show you, are not set on recharge. Now, the recharge means, um, like, if it's unselected, that means it's, it's going to be green, and it's going to be giving out power. So, I right now, you can, uh, I'll show you, this, um, this reactor is actually off. You can see by the red. And there's no other reactors on here. So, you know, I have a gravity thing that's working. I have all this stuff that's powered. And that's all being powered by these uh, these batteries right here. So, I'll show you how they're kind of inefficient. I wouldn't say they're inefficient, but they're, you know, they're like batteries. Where there's not, they're not the most powerful thing, but they're there and they have a pretty good use. So, they're there for emergencies and stuff. So, this little area over here, which I don't even know if you can see my mouse, but, um, because I have it set to not show my mouse, but... Um, you'll see down in the lower right hand corner it says fully depleted 10 hours uh, stored power current output current, current input so on and so forth but um, if I click recharge it will uh, say it'll switch to fully recharged in you know zero seconds or whatever that's because it's currently full but now if we go to this other one um, it'll say fully depleted in five hours now that's um, because this one has is full power so it has five hours of power um, being stored from these the solar panels and it can power everything on here. Now, right now, it's not powering anything besides the gravity generator, the beacon, um, and the turret. And uh, I think that's it. Oh, and the, well, like that's the only active thing. If we use the assembler, um, it would take up so much more power, um, which I actually have it set to do. Um, at least I had it set to do that. I'll go disassemble all, and um, it'll also use up power. But I'll show you that. Oh, by the way, this, uh, the blue means it's charging, the green means it's, uh, in use. So now it says, instead of five hours, it says one hour, because this assembler is using up so much power that it's just, you know, you know, it has, it's estimated time is going to be gone a lot faster. Um, if we click recharge, my gravity's gone, everything's gone, I have no, there's nothing, I don't have any power. But then I go back to here, I just click off recharge, and it will start outputting power. And everything's good to go. Now, you see, um, if I turn off that, it'll go to three hours, and that means it really. So this, uh, when it said one hour, it most likely meant 1.5 hours because now with these two, it doubles that one, um, which it would normally be two, but that's I guess it's 1.5 because it made three, math and all that shit. But um, so this this is like a really cool addition to it. It's the, this is the main like feature of this update, but there's a few other smaller things, and. Um, one of which involves the solar panels and how they are, uh, they're cheaper to make. And I don't remember what exactly, like I think the solar panels or the solar cells require like a hundred something of them, but there's a lot less uh, stuff that's required and I think they can be made faster. Um, I'm not sure about the made faster part, but I know it's less. Um, so we have the battery block for the small and large ships, or the large grids I should say. These are the large versions. and then. Um, in this newer update, they have these ships are modified with the batteries. So this green battery right here is on, and I turned off, or at least I think I turned off. Let me get inside here, and I'll go into K. I'll go to reactors, and I'll turn them off. Now, you know, they're off. I got power. So if you look on the lower right-hand corner where it normally says, like, all the fuel time and all that stuff, it says fuel time, two days, and it says number of batteries in use, one. So that's the one battery that you see on top. That's all I have on here. Um, and then it will, uh, like, I, I'm not using any uranium or any of that stuff, and I'm able to just, you know, be all hybrid and stuff, be all, uh, you know, environmentally friendly. So it's got a good amount of fuel time, like, for just a small, uh, like, it'll take, um, I think for, for a large grid, it takes about 15 minutes to do a full charge, depending on how much, uh, power input you have. 
but as you can see right here um, or well you can't see it yet let me just go into here if we go to um, well, the reactors are all off uh, if we go to battery and we go to recharge we can do that by you know it'll like actually recharge by using the uh, connector system so that's a way to kinda like just plug yourself in with a with a ship and it's really you know effective opposed to having to I don't know like take those batteries and like it just it wouldn't work you'd have to there would have to be a way like this so you know this is why there is and uh, you know while you're recharging you can also hit P to lock in place and dump all your crap uh, in there let's go to um, actually I don't think it will yeah no these are just plugs basically um, they have they're not connected to anything besides the power grid so there won't be um like they won't take in items well, they might into them little their little selves but it's basically like an outlet so we hit P um, and we gotta hit Y and get that let's see the, the thing is it's not that strong I don't think or it's just like how weak my ship actually is but um, I don't think it's the you know actual power from um, the battery that's you know not letting it uh, escape the little magnet thing as fast. I feel like I'm talking a lot, and I, I know I am, but I need to, so deal with it. Um, let's just go up into here. So when we're charging, you know, we'll do a little charge thingy, and then uh, we'll hit P, and it will uh, dump all our crap out. Um, yeah, so it dumped all our crap out. It put the stone into the refinery. It's doing that thing while it also uh, charges us up so yes yeah, hold on oh oh wait whoa let's not do that because that's the uh, that was weird um you want to recharge this one then it's fully charged already but yes yeah, so you can charge that up while emptying your crap out so let's we'll just hop out of here um, those are the main features of this there's not much else um, let me see here um, oh, there's a cool couple things for copying and pasting, and I'll, uh, I'll show you what I mean. Sorry, I'm kind of burpy right now. I don't know why. But, um, let's see here. I'm going to... I'm going to see what, how I should demonstrate this. I'm going to grab this, copy and paste it, and, um, I'm going to do... Next person driving by, now I'm gonna get copyrighted for your stupid music. <laughs> um, let's see, we could grab. Yeah, let's just like let's do. This is gonna be kind of stupid looking, but uh, even if it if it works or not, I'm not sure. Um, okay, yeah. So you see how it clicks, right? Um, I think it will. Like it. Uh, I want to be able to demonstrate this easier, but it's not being freaking useful okay no okay um let's escape that and just go to just get rid of the little antenna thing just so we can demonstrate this no come on all right so this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do a little this is gonna take a little bit of a second but i'm going to make a new small ship i'm just gonna am that I'm gonna do that's just that's uh, it's gonna look stupid but I don't care it's gonna work um, uh, all right so this right here this is just a little block thing I made so we copy that and we can actually go up to another grid or another ship that's already in existence and we can bring it up real clear I think we can do this um, yeah, so right, you see how it clicks on and stuff? Right there, bam. Now this thing just becomes part, becomes part of the ship, so it's going to make building and creative a lot easier. For example, say I had, uh, I wanted to replace these uh, these engines here. I, I wouldn't do that right now because it's going to take a while for me to actually build anything that's remotely attractive. Um, say I wanted to, you know, have duplicate engines or whatever, I wanted to test stuff out. I could, cop, I could make uh, that separately, copy and paste it on there and kind of just like go all mechanic on it. Um, so that's a cool feature that we that we have now so that's gonna be awesome for building stuff um, the antennas that's the next big thing now the way to explain this is a tad hard but I'm gonna do my best to try to demonstrate it sort of now antennas before didn't have much of a purpose um, but now they have they're able to they're like radars for example so this red antenna here um, it can let's see how to explain this it um, 
Okay, so uh, I really don't know how to explain this. Um, let me let me try to think here real fast. Let's see. It's basically it's like it'll detect other ships and stuff within a certain radius, or uh, in another sense, it will use a, the, use it as a radio beacon where it will um, say we have. Let's actually I can do this right now. I can copy this. That's a big copy. Um, let's just go bring it over here. All right, let's put it right. Right there. All right. So we'll do. We have to do one more just to uh, kind of uh, demonstrate this in a better sense. Okay. So now these three ships right here, they you know all have antennas and uh, my dampers on. Okay, cool. Um, but basically, they they rebound. They they they're say for example. You have like on your router, your internet at home. You have um, so you have like a mansion, and you have like you have one router, and then you have uh, these things that like strengthen the signal. Or if you're familiar with Minecraft, it's like a a redstone repeater. It just you know it strengthens the signal and resends it back out. I forget what they're called, but basically what we'll do is we'll go into the little uh, control panel here, and I'm going to set all these to uh, to a shorter distance. We're gonna make it like. 300 meters. Um, so that will be. That's 57 there. Uh, no, we're gonna make it a lot shorter than that. We're gonna make it. Um, we're gonna make it 100 meters. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking like 100. Um, let me actually pause real fast, and I'm going to. I'm gonna edit a lot of this stuff to kind of keep it shorter. But um, I'll be right back to demonstrate it. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, I apologize. This, I, I researched this again for the antennas and how they relay. And I don't quite understand how they work. Like, I get what they do. Like, I understand that, like, uh, the whole, you know, how it, the, it reroutes the power and puts it out even more. Or at least that's what I think it does. But so far, it's not working. Um, I have this one over here set to, like, uh, 100 and maybe, like, 200 meters. Um, and that's close enough for this one to be, like, powering it or some shit like that. I really don't understand it. And I apologize for that and how I can't... Uh, um, review that part of it, but um, I still hope you enjoyed. Um, if you did, and if you understand how they work, please leave a comment below and tell me, and I'll mention you uh, in my next video along with um, you know uh, how to actually do it. So um, yeah, if you liked it, leave a like, subscribe, comment, favorite, share with your friends, all that awesome stuff. Um, check out my Patreon. If you could donate even a dollar, that would be amazing. Literally, that would be freaking amazing, and I'd love you. Also, you get a shout out if. Uh, you donate a dollar, and higher reward tiers will come uh, if more people donate, um, and I honestly just can't think of any, but if you guys think of any, I'm definitely up for putting them in, um, and uh, all that awesome stuff. So yeah, see you next time. Peace out.